morning everybody so today is friday um i work today obviously that's why you're gonna see this video today um so it's about seven it's 7 a.m right now um i have to be at work at 9 45 to 10 15. i lean towards the 9 45 because i just like to get everything done so that i can like chill out eat breakfast or whatever i want to do and then just wait. So it's seven o'clock, it's gonna take me about two hours to get ready and then I'm gonna do my devotions and stuff like that and then I'll drive to work. I'm gonna start by brushing my teeth and then once I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll start answering questions that people normally have for me um, as a Hooters girl. So here we go. I just wanted to do this part of the video because I recorded this. I don't really like how the first one came out. I was really tired that day. I was super monotone, super boring, and I just didn't feel like, I just feel like I was way too tired to be interesting at all. Like I was so boring. So I'm re-recording to get ready and some of the questions and answers that I have. Um, so I'm just gonna start with the rules while I do my makeup. Um, so number one, it is not what people think it is. It's nothing like stripping. I know that you're gonna be like, oh, well the uniform is kind of crazy and that makes you a stripper. It's like, not really. I'm just a, sort of a server with an odd uniform and that's just how I look at it. Um, I guess maybe it's cause I work there cause they get paid to dress crazy, but we don't. Like some people don't even pay us. Like we're just servers. We work off tips too. Some people give us more. Some people give us nothing. Some people draw dicks on our receipts. So it just depends on what kind of people you're getting. And it really has nothing to do with your uniform and everything to do with how you're serving um, the people. And if you're catering to what they think that they need and this, that, and the third. So it's never really anything like that, at least for me. Starting with hair. Hair, you have to have like a full glam. You have to come in full glam, which is my, my hair is kind of tied back. It's not like curled or anything, but it's the waves are really defined. There is no natural when you're a Hooters girl. Like you have to be full glam. You have to look stunning all the time. You're expected that is the persona that you're carrying on. You have to have your nails done. Um, so mine are not acceptable technically just because of the color. Like yes, they're done, but the color is not natural. It's supposed to be like a nude or a white French tip and that's what is expected of you. However, I work at a franchise, so the expectations are a little bit different. So they want me to have my nails done, but it, the color is a little bit more loose. Now, when we get expected and stuff like that, I obviously am gonna have to change my nails or cover them up or get a different color. But for right now, I'm good with the blue. People love them. They see them, they're like, oh, those are so cool. And that's just how it goes for me. Some other things are uniform. Uh, how do I feel about the uniform? I can't breathe in it. And I have these horrible tan lines. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you definitely can. You can see the tan lines that are ridiculous. Like the tan lines are insane. And that's the worst thing about working outside um, on the boardwalk because the tan lines just get worse and worse. It's been, I've only been here for three weeks and this is my tan line already. And I've, I've evened it out about three times already. And it just keeps coming back because I'm outside every freaking day. It's really freaking tight. It's sque It's like wearing a sports bra on your entire body. Have you ever put on a sports bra and it just like pushes your tits all the way up into your neck? Yeah, that's what it's like wearing a huge uniform, except that's how your stomach feels, that's how your boobs feel, that's how your waist feels, like everything feels sucked in and tight. That's how your legs feel because you have to wear those stocking things. Everything is just squeezed in really freaking tight and it doesn't feel good. And that's just how it goes and there's nothing you can do about it. Do my parents know? Nope. I don't plan on telling them either. Uh, I told them that I wanted to do it when I was a freshman in college and they were like, absolutely not. And so then when I finally got this off, when I had gotten this offer and my friend was like, just come work up here with me. I was like, okay, lit. I didn't tell them what I was doing. I didn't want to tell them because they'd already said no. So my parents, this is my second year and they still don't know. Do you need big boobs? No, you don't. And I know that I have big boobs, so it sounds like I'm just being insensitive, but you literally do not need big boobs. I know people who have none who work with me right now. Okay, what is it like working with guys? So the only people that we have that are guys are our managers, 
um, and we have female managers too, and then our kitchen staff. And our kitchen staff is almost 100% male. Like there is one female that works in the kitchen, and that's it. That those are the only guys that you'll ever encounter now. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'll try to record. Probably not gonna happen. We're gonna be slammed most likely. Okay, so it is 9.43 on my clock timer, which means it's 9.38 here. Let me turn this off so I don't get copyrighted. Um, I'm about eight minutes from my job, so I'm like right on time to get there at 9.45, which is still kind of early. Like I'm most likely gonna be the first girl there. If I'm not, I'll be very surprised. Um, jump start usually around 10 45 this is my devotion time so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and i'll see you guys at the restaurant okay so i went from being like way early to being making myself late i don't know how i did that um but yeah i'm on the way in i got my drink i forgot that today's parking was gonna be a dick face so they're sad but i found a parking spot that's not too bad that was a lot of work also i hit somebody's car i didn't dent it but i still hit it so i had a heart attack that's fine that's gonna be a long day god bless me this is the employee entrance okay i have to put my food up so that's what i'm gonna do first shirt shop so this is kind of the view and stuff usually outside anyway um. <laughs> oh <I'm> good <laughs> okay um so basically I have to like set up the drink stuff that's like part of the morning tour that's like right here it's fine can get bus bins uh the slosh buckets and cut lemons but that's kind of boring so i'm not going to record that see you later okay so i have everything on that's what it looks like i don't have on my shoes though i'm gonna put those on yet lipstick on Obviously, I know that it's frustrating because you kind of want to see like inside the restaurant but it's really hard to record and I just don't want to invade people's privacy like that because on top of girls being there there are also customers and I just don't want that problem so I'm sorry about that however I love my coworkers. I was really lucky to have a great staff. So the thing about cat fights is they didn't exist at my location. However, um, I have heard that they 
have them at different locations. Obviously, you get enough girls together and they have beef, they're gonna fight. I mean, you can't really stop it, but I just didn't have it at my location. I was really lucky about that. So the things that I forgot to talk about and the get ready with me was um, hours. So the hours are kind of crazy. Um, most of the time you're gonna work doubles. There are three types of shifts you work. Obviously the one is double. So you'll work 9.45 slash 10. You just have to be there before 10.30. But I usually got there around, like I said, 9.45. So you get there at 9.45, you stay all day, and you get off whenever after we close. So it's 9.45 to close. And so we close at 11, so you would usually get around, get out around like 12, 12.30, 1, depending on when the last customer came in. Um, so that was the worst shift. Those are the ones that you work the most often also. Then you had a morning shift. A morning shift, you come in in the morning, 9.45 or 10, and you work until 3.30. So usually you're out of there or by 3.30, 3.45, just depending on if you have a table or if the person who's coming to take your section isn't there yet. Like those are just things that, um, you know what I'm trying to say. But you were never ever there longer than four. Um, and then work a night shift, which means you come in at 3.15 because you have to be there for jump start, and then you work until close, so 12, 12, 31, just depending on when the last table's there, like I said before. Um, so, so when you're working doubles, you end up working about 13, 14 hours a day, which pretty much um, translates to about 60 to 70 hours a week, which is about what I was working, so that is right. Um, but here's the thing so you're working all those crazy hours and your body's dying you're just like no I would quit if I work those except the money is so nice you don't so that brings me to the next thing that I didn't really talk about is money so how much did I make on average I made about $1,500 a week now that includes slow days that includes half shifts that includes everything so like obviously the hours weren't the greatest but the money was pretty <laughs> great so on good days you made about four hundred dollars on bad days you made like two um on great days you could make five to six hundred and on really shitty days you make like 150. but if i ever worked a double and i didn't make a hundred dollars i would quit it's never happened to me like ever um obviously that depends on your location so you can't just go to any location and make that much money but because i was working in a tourist town people are more inclined to tip more when they're on vacation because they're big ballers you know and so i did make a decent amount of money <laughs> um, but it also just depends like I worked in a <laughs> I remember one time I worked Sunday morning at the one on the boardwalk and then I worked uh, inside the city um, at the bigger restaurant for the nighttime and usually nighttime is busier but um, Sunday I had made $200 on the boardwalk and then when I was at the other location I made sixty dollars so it really just depends on who's coming in your restaurant how many people are coming in your restaurant how they're tipping you so you always should tip your servers like i said i was lucky with a really great staff i love all of those ladies and they were really great people most of them except one and a manager anyways um but yeah we had a really fun time while i was doing it i wouldn't take it back i think that i really learned that like well, I, mean, I just get tired of people a lot and that was just something that really pushed me to do it so I wouldn't take back and I made good money, so like, why not? I know that it comes with those um, stereotypes and everything like that, but those don't really bother me. I don't really care what anybody does. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it and everybody should live that way. So with that being said, if you have any more questions or comments, you can put them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like this video or if you actually, if you liked it or didn't like it, give it a nice thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And with that, I will see you next video.